my most memorable moment of being a student athlete at Bishop Ludden. 1972, my senior year, 50 years ago, Ludden CBA at Griffin Field. And this was the, the Holy Wars, the arch rivalry. CBA was 4-0, ranked 17th in the state, undefeated. They had some great athletes. And we had great athletes too, but we were you know, got a slow start to the season. We were one and three. But this was Ludden CBA, and all we knew was their CBA, we're Ludden. We weren't afraid. We were going in there and giving them our best shot. On the way to the game, which was at Griffin Field, we we're in the bus and we had a police escort. We had about eight motorcycles, police cars, fire engines, all with their sirens going, and we we're pumped. We we're sky high. We, we just we wanted to win so bad on that game. And so the game plan was from Coach Didio, run at their strength. So I was playing offensive tackle, and so we're gonna we're gonna run right at them. We're gonna run the ball down their throat, and that was the game plan. So Tommy Harris was lined up across from me. So I, I go out at him and got Phil Byrne next to me playing tight end. So we're double teaming him. Phil comes down, I, I hit him. Phil comes down on the angle, wiped him out, boom. Uh, and then uh, you got Chet and uh, he had a lead blocker, might've been Mark Jensen, coming through the hole. We, we ran right all over him. And Greg Didio was the quarterback and uh, he made some great passes to Dickie Baylash and a couple other guys. And we beat him, we beat him. And that was, we were sky high. And at the end of the game, something happened that I had no idea was going to happen. My life changed that day, big time, because I'm walking off the field and Syracuse University line coach Rocco Piro was at the game, which I had no idea was there. He was there not to scout me, to scout Tommy Harris, the tackle I was playing against. So he goes to me, how'd you like to play football for Syracuse University? What? <laughs> yeah. He offered me a scholarship right on the spot that day. So it was unbelievable. Coach Dave Didio, like I said, uh, I met him in eighth grade, up the road here at St. Charles Borromeo, playing CYO basketball, and took a personal interest in me, and guided me, mentored me. His dedication, his commitment, his passion, unsurpassed. I mean, he, he was the guy. I had to work hard, I was in the weight room, I was running, I was doing summer drills with all my teammates, we all did it together. Listen to your coaches and it's dedicate, dedication and commitment. If you, if you believe in yourself and you think you can do something, you can. Perfect example was that game at CBA. On paper, we didn't have a chance, but we believed in ourselves and we believed we could beat them and we beat them. You know, I was really involved in student council and plays and band. And I didn't know at the time, but I ended up being a, a professional musician and a and a music teacher. And so those experiences, being well-rounded, not just the athletics, really made me the person I became. And I'm, I'm grateful, I'm really grateful. And I'm grateful to the selection committee for selecting me. I mean, this is tremendous honor and it's very humbling. And uh, my mom, Rosina Spillett, who encouraged me all the way without, without her, it wouldn't happen. I'm thankful to God for many blessings. <laughs>